Hi guys, welcome to your favorite program on aptitude training. In this capsule, we try to cover a question from numerical ability. This is pretty interesting question. Let's look at this question. If x is equal to 16 cube plus 17 cube plus 18 cube plus 19 cube, what would be the remainder when x is divided by 70? I'm repeating it. x is equal to 16 cube plus 17 cube plus 18 cube plus 19 cube. What will be the remainder when x is divided by 70? I'm writing it here. x is equal to 16 cube plus 17 cube plus 18 cube plus 19 cube. Now, when this is divided by 70, what is the remainder is the question. Okay, how to solve this question first? This is like a cube plus b cube plus c cube plus d cube divided by some number which is that is 70. But here the catch is you already know that okay rather I would say let's add them in different format 16 cube plus 19 cube and 17 cube plus 18 cube. 16 cube plus 19 cube plus 17 cube plus 18 cube this is how I am writing. Now, this part would be definitely a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square because this is a cube plus b cube. That means 35 into 16 square plus 19 square minus 16 into 19. I am not going to calculate anything here, but I am just writing for the sake of your understanding. Then again 17 plus 18 35 into 17 square plus 18 square minus 17 into 18. We can take out 35 as common. Yes, I am taking out 35 as common. Now what do you have? That is one even number, another even number, one odd number, another odd number. When you add two odd numbers anyway you will get even number only. So what this will yield? Even what this will yield even these two are again even numbers so finally this whole resultant will be even that means definitely i can take out one two from the remaining part so that means this number is a multiple of 70 so this whole thing is perfectly divided by 70 the remainder is zero i am saying the remainder is zero i'll explain it once again I can write this as 16 cube plus 19 cube and 17 cube plus 18 cube. When I am writing it that way, this is nothing but a plus b into a square minus ab plus b square. So I have just added 16 and 19, I got 35. 17 and 18, I added 35 into some number into another number. But when I started adding these, I realized that these two parts will definitely yield another even number for us because even plus even, even, odd plus odd again even and there are two other even numbers which are being subtracted. So the final resultant will be even. So I am taking out another 2 out of that. I am just keeping the remaining here. So 35 into 2 into something is 70 into something. It is multiple of 70. So 70 can perfectly divide it. So this is how we can solve this question very quick. Guys, here I don't want you people to have one misconception. If you look at this, okay, some of these digits because this is in the form of a cube plus b cube plus c cube plus d cube. Some of you might be just thinking ki this is divisible by a plus b plus c plus d because we have proven so. Okay, Because in our uh, I mean solution we solved it saying ki this is divisible by 70 which is incidentally some of these digits but that is not true that is what I am saying. Because if you see 16 plus 17 plus 18 plus 19 this is 70 but actually in all the cases a cube plus b cube plus c cube plus d cube is not divisible by a plus b plus c plus d. Let me show one example so that you do not have that misconception. I am just taking 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus 5 cube and let us try to divide this by 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 5 that is 11. 1 cube is 1, 8 plus 1, 9, 9 plus 27, 36, 36 plus 125 that is 161 divided by 11. Is this divisible by 11? No. So a cube plus b cube plus c cube plus d cube is not divisible by a plus b plus c plus d in all the cases. Just to give you an understanding, I have solved this in particular cases that is true. I trust you all like the way we solve this. 
we'll be coming up with more such interesting questions and the smart ways of solving them stay tuned thank you